Maybe it's you, maybe it's your portfolio, maybe it's Maybelline, I'm not sure, but oftentimes we have to do some enormous things to get a job in the game audio industry. So tired. So, so tired. And it can be really challenging uh, when you're sending out reels and you're applying for jobs and you're not getting uh, any feedback or you're not getting um, any positive feedback or maybe you're not progressing to the next stage. Um, I'm someone that's gone through quite a few sound design tests and successfully sort of passed my way into a number of positions um, or at least into interview stages where they were like, wow, you're a lot. He's at it again! But uh, today what I thought I would do is actually take you through three fantastic sound design reels that have been sent across um, by some of you. And uh, I encourage you to go to this link, um, which will be weaveraudio.com uh, slash reel review or review my reel, something like that, um, and submit your reels. It is your calling card. It's what you need to get started in the industry. And it is something that... Um, is, is always asked from you uh, to get to the tech test level and to kind of go through that. Uh, so first up, we're looking at Josh. Uh, Josh has sent through a sound design demo reel. Some of these will be tech design. Some of these will be audio design because as Lincoln once said, variety is the spice of life. Tuck him away. So. Okay, great work, Josh. I can see you've done a couple of uh, a couple of really really interesting things here. Now, um, starting off with uh, your selection. Now, um, I'm a fan of a couple of these clips, though I do think that you could probably throw a little curveball in here with something that's maybe a little less action uh, oriented. You have the Gears of War thing, uh, R.I.P. Coalition. Uh, you have the Horizon Zero Dawn stuff, and you have this Assassin's Creed stuff. Um, I do feel the Assassin's Creed and the Horizon stuff maybe touches a little bit of the same ground. Um, looking at a reel like this, I would probably expect to see maybe a little bit more versatility in some of the sound design, given that you do hit... Um, you know, I like the length. A one minute reel is fantastic. Uh, you know, one to two minutes tops. And you're, you're right on the bottom end of that. Um, something about this maybe makes me want to say hit exactly a minute uh, just for the sake of it looking like it's really been curated. Um, so if you can find two seconds somewhere, I would say to do that too. The Foley design's really interesting. Um, if you really wanted to go above and beyond, and specifically if you're looking for some levels of jobs where you're really trying to show your personality, you can do things like overlay uh, some of your, you recording some of this stuff. Um, so overlay some visions of you, um, you know, recording some of these movements, um, just a quick footage that you can kind of sync to it. It does show a lot of ingenuity and it shows a lot of sound design in a world where we have a lot of uh, kind of library stuff happening here. Um, little things like this Peggy uh, provisional poster, not sure. Um, and I also am not totally a fan of starting with a cinematic. Uh, this is a personal choice, but I think cinematics are kind of a little overused in game design reels. Um, you moving on to some gameplay footage is really good, and I think this Horizon stuff is really strong. Though I would probably look to add a little bit more detail to the UI movements here. Um, this is the only instance of it of you doing UI, and I do feel like it's it's quite low in the mix and it's a little undersold um, on on some of the movements. So I'd look to have a second pass of this UI. Um, and maybe even bleed in some ambience here for the Horizon stuff. I do think this is probably a stronger opening in a way than the Assassin's Creed stuff, um, I think. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed stuff may be a little generic. Um, a good idea is to go straight into the combat, so him charging up um, to start the fight might actually be your first shot here, and you might find room for something else. So... 
the uh, gear stuff as well. Um, I do think it's good, but I think it probably covers the same sort of region, as I said, of the Horizon stuff. Of the three clips, I probably would swap out this gear stuff unless you were going to add gunfire um, because you haven't really described it or shown it. Um, your use of textures is great. I think your sound design is really interesting. Um, could probably be a little wider spatially as well, uh, looking into that. Um, finally, I'm not totally sure, like, it's a little hard to know if this is um, a, a stinger for you or something. I'm not sure what this MEM means, and it kind of looks like a sh like short film sort of thing. Um, I don't know if it's just a cool transition. It's a pretty cool transition though, so um, it's awesome. Great job putting your uh, Gmail there as well, um, and great job having something like this as well. I think you don't actually have to do both, and it can often be very beneficial to have an implementation reel and a sound design reel. It's a little bit of a lightning journey, Josh, but I think you did a fantastic job of going through your sound design reel. Um, great job. Moving on to uh, Thomas, Thomas Fritz, um, who has uh, first up a technical sound design reel. Um, we probably won't go through all five minutes of that, and it will be uh, to show you that we shouldn't have five minute long reels necessarily. Um, you probably want to look around the two, two and a half minute mark. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Fritz. Watch the mouse at the top. Technical sound design reel. It's a good idea this to get rid of some of that too. Game set in a medieval dungeon. I thought it would be a the cool sound design here is really soundtrack. interesting. Let's press a key and start the tour. So here we are in the game's main menu. The whoosh sound was created using Reformer by Crotos Audio. It this is great. While we are in the menu, um, On-screen graphics and showing that you know how to use wires, default, really, really fantastic. Um, very, very helpful in a technical sound design um, review. I'd probably also show the Crotos patch um, for, I think it was Weaponizer or Dehumanizer, whichever one you mentioned. I'd probably show that too. Um, and I'd probably actually start in this shot here. I don't think you need the the 20 odd 30 seconds of um, this text. It's a little bit slow, um, you know, almost 30 seconds in and we haven't really heard very much sound design. So I'd probably look to hit a little bit harder um, to start with. If you think the fire is cool enough to do that, great. Um, and if you talking over the top of your sound design footage is a very powerful choice. Um, some people love it. Some people don't. I do think that it maybe is a better version for specifically a tech sound design reel than it is an audio design reel. And we shouldn't really be seeing too much of it in an audio design reel. So I do think it's appropriate here. Okay. Skipping forward a tiny bit to control the RTPC. Okay, good. So I think you probably don't need another clip of this. There are three distinct acoustic identities in this game. The exterior, the dungeon, and the crypt, which we'll see later. Each location okay, a couple of things here in this shot well that I'm seeing. Um, number one, be really careful of spelling. Um, even though this is just in a wise session, it, uh, it shows um, it, it shows you in a more negative light than I think the work that you're actually putting here is. Um, the other thing is you could maybe do a supercut of a bunch of these shots instead of necessarily digging in and doing um, a, a long talk through. Uh, one of the, uh, Aaron McLaren, who's the, the audio director of um, Unreal Engine, um, once told me when I asked, hey man, what's with, uh, what's with, you know, why can't we have soft footsteps and, and soft ambiences in these Unreal Engine demos? Why does it have to be lasers and explosions uh, when, Unreal Engine 5 came out um, and he responded with you know ambiences don't put bums on seats and you know over time I think uh, I've started to understand that he was right there um, as much as I love ambiences and literally I built a web app for ambiences and built ambiences in like 10 games now um, 
be really careful that what you're showing uh, has a really, really fantastic thing here. Um, though this is a sequence container, though it's a random container and it's got some stuff going on, um, I, I don't think it, it probably doesn't show enough cool stuff for it to get the whole two minutes so far. For example, if the player quickly changes direction during movement, like doing a U-turn... All of this is so good. What I would say is overlay this blueprint more, stuff on top of us hearing it um, and, and then have it have see the wires going sort of around and, and display it. Um, let, the, let the sound design do the talking for you. Change of direction will be... When the player walks into it, it plays or This is cool, but probably didn't need to be talked over. Range. If I spawn into yeah, the I'd probably just shorten that one up a little bit. Because we did not actually hit um, you've sort of d demonstrated RTPCs already, so I'd skip that as well. The timeline managing the... This certainly be... We played the big impact. Again, overlay. Fantastic, there you go. As I, as I say it, um, overlay is great. Blueprint overlay is probably good as well. Um, do that. Looks like we found... Yeah, so uh, be careful of saying that that concludes my presentation. It does make it sound like you maybe made this for like a student project or something like that, which again, is like actually totally fine to do. Um, but the takeaways here, Tomas, is uh, your audio tech chops are fantastic and you would actually be a, a really well... Um, well-received asset at a lot of companies, and I think you're in the right place. I would say maybe add a little bit of variety, uh, having a separate game uh, that might be able to take up half of this, where you demonstrate the same principles that you've done, but in a different, um, in a different light, in a different sort of context, a different style, different engine, different middleware, or the same engine, same middleware, but just some different colors. Um, not, there's nothing wrong with the assets you've done, and the tech audio work is great, um, and I think it's going to be really really awesome okay finally uh we have martin or martin martin um here from liquid audio um and we have another sound design reel Okay, ah, uh, uh, we, was that the start? I think maybe I skipped. Okay, I did. I was watching this already. Right, and then that's where we come up to. Uh, so, Martin, this is a, a great sound design reel. Um, I really enjoy this uh, version of this. Now, a uh, couple of things that I'm noticing. Number one, hosting a reel on your website is uh, is can be kind of iffy. Um, it's fine in this instance and it's done really well. As long as it is done really well and you know that it's always going to be up and there isn't going to be any problems, you are good to go. Uh, starting off, probably the, the five second sting of you, I think get straight into the sound design. Um, put this maybe down the bottom in like a lower third instead, could just be here, um, like you have with the redesign sort of text or top top corners as well um not an issue there rather than do the five second sting the the in, the attention span of of really really grabbing people um you're already seeing people have very very good ways of doing that as well the god of war sound design now um now that ragnarok is out 
Uh, we probably might want to update this to have Ragnarok because it does seem like a quite an old redesign. Um, there's nothing really wrong with old redesigns, but new redesigns are better. Um, only also because you have Horizon um, and Horizon not super old or anything like that. Uh, the sound design. Sound design of the voice is cool. It, it, it almost feels like you kind of just covered the sound of it. Um, and given that Mike has done a talk about how this works, um, it's a cool exercise, but maybe not a great display of some of your pretty good audio chops. Um, there's a lot of great processing here and it's, it's quite clean. Um, I think it definitely gets up there in terms of what Mike did in the original God of War as well. The Ori clip. Uh, now, this Ori clip, there's a there's a real low mid chunk thing happening here. Um, it could be that there aren't enough assets, or it could be that the top end has just been pulled out a little bit too much. It has a nice pan to it, but there's a sort of squelch that happens when it's like a disperser kind of thing, um, where you're really splitting the frequency spectrum, and I think it ultimately makes it a very noisy clip. Um, and I'm not sure that it adds it adds what you'd like as well as it being um another redesign so it's it's a great game um it really is and i like what you've done with the idea here it feels a little noisy um as as the as the sort of uh, centipede block thing moves around this this celeste clip uh is awesome um it showcases a great way to change your sentiment um or, or your um you know the way that you go about things i think it could be earlier it could probably probably replace the ori clip as well um if you've got the fmod project that you can line up some of this stuff as well um given that the fmod project is available for celeste i would probably go through and add that as well Another Horizon clip, um, you're probably going to see this clip or Horizon Forbidden West or Horizon Zero Dawn clips a lot in redesigns. I'm not quite sure why, but somewhere someone is putting them in uh, curriculums and then they're around. Um, however, there is a particularly awesome sound in this, which is the missile sound of the... Um, Yeah, it, it sort of tells a story and its missiles done really, really well, um, so you should be super proud of it. Uh, it gives a lot of weight and feels fantastic. I probably also would look to add some UI somewhere in your redesigns. There isn't really any UI, um, whether it's menu flows or um, some state change stuff when you open these. You kind of fade it out. Uh, this last clip at the end here, it's not really clear... Um, it is it is a redesign and it's uh, Somerville. It's quite a slow burn at 30 seconds. It's almost a third of your reel um, is this one shot. And I'd probably look to replace this with maybe a game that you've already worked on, a game that you um, worked on a game jam or something like that, um, just so you don't have sort of four redesigns back to back to back to back. Um, because I think the it's it it would probably benefit you more um, to move away from that. Amazing work today uh, for the tech sound design reels and the audio reels of Josh, Tomas, and uh, Martin. Fantastic work. Um, I, I hope that you've gotten something out of this. And I'd encourage anyone else that is keen uh, to head over to the website, uh, weaveraudio.com, move into the top, which is Reel Review, and send in your reel. Um, I am more than happy to give some feedback. I've had some fantastic feedback from people um, when it comes to being able to get a job in the industry and how you need to know everybody and, and do everything uh, just to get in. And it's really challenging. So any, any way that you can help, um, I would ultimately get around to sharing your reel to quite a few places and talking to quite a few people. Uh, it's not easy to show your reel because it's a little nerve wracking, but you can see that if you just change one thing and you get one step better, sometimes that last step is all that you need. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.